Does anyone else have this problem where you have a hard time creating a cohesive series of work? I have this problem. Maybe you do too. Tell me in the comments. The reason why I think I have this problem is because I'm still learning, I'm still discovering. I constantly want to push myself, challenge myself, discover new ways of painting. There's so many super cool art styles out there that I really want to test and see what sticks with me. And so as a beginner artist, I just have so much I want to do that I don't want to stay with one consistent style at the moment. I treat all of my paintings like a challenge. Once I'm done with one, I'm like, been there, done that, what's next? So to have fun painting means to me that I need to try out new things and it's all fine and good until I start getting my exhibition. In three weeks at my first exhibition, I'm looking at my work and I'm like, this does not it's not consistent. I kind of feel out of place and I'm having lots of doubts about it. So I just finished this painting of a summer sun between the trees. Like this painting feels like home to me. I love it. I love the style. I love how everything turned out. It was an experiment and I feel like taking it with me to the exhibition but I don't have any paintings to go with it. So I thought I'm gonna create a second painting in the same style just so it's not so alone, but I don't feel like painting the same type of painting. I wanna try something new. I want to maybe paint a huge face or try something in shoe style or just um, explore something new, basically. I don't want to paint the same thing again. And I'm faced with the dilemma because I kind of want to at the same time paint something that's similar to match it so that I can have more coherent pieces at my exhibition. So I have to find a spark. I have to find a challenge, not too much challenge because I'm under pressure, but like enough challenge to make it fun. Here out of the way, I can't paint without getting my clothes dirty, so. This is the reference I chose to use and I chose this photo because it reminds me of my walks back at home and I always used to kind of use these walks to think and just breathe in the wood air and just feel at peace and this specific place is a walk I used to imagine going on with my special person sometime in the future. It really resembles that in my mind, in the feeling, and that's why I chose to use it as inspiration for my piece. So now that I have a meaning for my piece, I feel less bored and less like tired of needing to paint a painting to go with the other one. So this was the piece. Put this to dry, it's not dry, it's all sticky. Okay, I'm a beginner, so I like to look at myself in the viewfinder. I should just take it away, but that's intimidating. The canvas is already primed with this textured layer of gesso, so all I need to do is start with the light and the dark tones. Here's my palette. Okay, have my turpentine in here. Just by opening it, it stinks. But it's just for once, just for the base, and then we'll be set. Like obviously once you've done something it's easier to recreate it but it's not as challenging and so it's not as fun and it, it goes faster like you're gonna be I'm gonna be done way quicker than with the first painting but it's just not as thrilling as like doing it for the first time like I prefer not knowing what it's gonna become and trying to like make the best out of it then knowing like, okay, this is gonna work if I do it the same way.
Do they resemble each other yet? It's day two, second layer. I'm accentuating the darker parts and the lighter parts. I also made a grid to make the placement easier. For the first layer, I was only using these two, black and brown. And now I added some light yellow, some ochre yellow, some paint blue, and some lighter. Day three. I'm thinking about the composition. I think I'm going to be changing certain placements because it kind of feels off balance right now. So there is one thing I need to say at the end of this third layer and that it's more challenging than I thought it would be. My day four palette looks like this. Today I'm applying paint using oil and I'm using this tiny brush. So then I took a longer break for it all to dry and did layer 5 incorporating brighter and more saturated colors. For layer 6, I completely ditched the reference and readjusted the composition to my liking. Even though this painting didn't give me the same thrill as I got from the first painting in this style, that was probably the funnest and most exciting part of this whole process just to be able to experiment within the boundaries of the style. From what I've experienced here with the sort of boredom that comes with painting the same thing again, the lack of challenge, I've noticed that I'm still going to be experimenting and trying out new things. So to be able to continue experimenting and trying out new styles and to be able to exhibit at the same time because I do have one, potentially two exhibitions coming up this year. I'm going to try out new styles, but plan a few paintings in those styles. So instead of painting one and like going on to the next, I'm gonna paint three or more, really plan them in depth before I start. So maybe each one can have like an exciting element to it, but all like match so that at the end of the year, I will have things that go together and that fit and that are presentable for the type of exhibitions I am doing. All in all, I have no doubt that me or you, we all have a like ingrained art style in us, like kind of like this ground water flow that comes out whenever we do something, whether it be baking or rolling up a toothpaste tube or carving something in wood or like carrying something. It's like something that you know, always shine through in some way or another in our movement, in our speech, in whatever it is. And if you look closely, it's kind of like the same thing that weaves itself through our life and through the way we express ourselves and in our art as well. And back to my painting, I did about six to seven paint sessions. The day before the exhibition, it still wasn't dry to touch and it wasn't finished, but I framed it. And then I added the highlights like at midnight. I packed it up and it hung at my exhibition. It wasn't dry, but that was fine. It had like this shiver to it. Lots of people enjoyed it. And I was really happy for Nature One to have a companion. It looked really good framing my screen painting and was really happy that I made it.